The Champlain Hudson Power Express will bring up to 1,000 megawatts of clean, renewable wind and hydropower to the New York market. Transmission Developers Inc. is committed to doing this in the most environmentally responsible manner. To ensure that this project has minimal impact on its surroundings, TDI has conducted a detailed analysis of the entire 350 mile route. I'm out here with Alpine Ocean Seismic Survey and our objective is to survey the proposed cable route on what's called the reconnaissance level of uh, investigation and we're taking samples of the lake bottom down the route and then those go back to a laboratory where they are analyzed. I am a geologist working on the Champlain Hudson Power Express project and what we are doing here is sampling sediment that the cable will be placed into and we're sampling for physical and chemical characteristics of the sediment. The, the yellow piece of equipment that we're using is called a vibracore unit and what it is is a rigid barrel that has a vibrating unit on top which is that box on the top and what that does is it basically vibrates this rigid core that has a that has a plastic liner inside which is what the sample is collected into and it vibrates it down into the sediment and collects it. So these computer consoles basically tell us what's happening down below. This particular monitor is our location and this is our target that we're supposed to be hitting so as you can see we're, we're within our target area and this second this second computer is a core logger and what it's doing is telling us how fast the fiber core unit is advancing into the sediment, how long it takes to advance X many feet and how deep we are. On the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, stop! And those things are important to know because softer sediments will penetrate quicker and for uh, more consolidated sediments it takes longer to get. So it's all valuable information that um, that'll be used later on in the project for construction purposes. This is a benthic grab sampler. It's actually called a Van Veen grab named after the Dutchman who invented this particular style. This one's pretty effective in a variety of uh, substrate type. The purpose of benthic sampling is to characterize the existing community um, inhabiting the substrate. The benthic organisms are worms, clams, small arthropods, like little little shrimp-like organisms, a whole variety of diff different organisms, insect larvae that live in the sediments. So what they're doing now is they've collected a benthic grab sample and now they're taking the contents of the grab and they're washing it gently through a sieve bucket and the sieve bucket has a screen in the bottom with an aperture of exactly uh, one half of a millimeter. That's a standard size in benthic ecology. All of the marine organisms, or, or freshwater organisms in this case, that are retained on that screen are saved and preserved. And the idea is that if we find a community that's uh, particularly unique or especially productive, we may want to adjust the route of the transmission line to avoid those communities. <laughs> 